Welcome back guys and uh, well thank you for the comment suggestions again and uh, I was told to read the damn quest book and uh, you're right I should have because if I read this bit you figure you um, if you're short of coal placing a lava tank underneath will be sufficient for heat well uh, yeah um, I should probably read the quest book from now on <laughs> but me taking initiative <sighs> don't be silly that that's ridiculous um, okay, cool. So, uh, yes, we're going to be doing quite a few things today, uh, but we are going to be starting with the heat-resistant glass for now. Um, okay, cool. So, a lava tank underneath. I'm guessing this will do. Hopefully it will do. I have no idea. Copper, wood. Uh, we've got copper and we should have some wood, yes. Uh, if it doesn't, well... Oh, well, it's not too much of a waste. We can just figure out another tank. I'm just presuming it's this tank because, uh, you know, why wouldn't it be? It's Mariculture and they're both Mariculture, so I don't know. If it's not, then I'd be surprised. Hey, okay, cool. So, Lava Tank 2 uh, is complete. Okay, cool. So, let's place this underneath and, uh, wow. Well, um, <laughs> that's uh, not very safe, is it? Okay, let's border that up and just place that there. Uh, okay, now I do have some lava in my chest. Okay, cool. And okay, nice. Uh, I was also told that placing a vat next to it and send it to auto eject fluids. If I press O, auto eject fluids just there will eject all of the molten limestone and um, and aluminium and stuff into the vat. But I'm not sure if that's correctly. I'm not sure if that's in the correct place. I'm not sure, but. Uh, We'll find out soon enough, won't we? Uh, okay, cool. So we do that, and now... How many lava buckets are you going to need? I'm presuming it's going to need quite a lot. Uh, I don't know. If it uses it as fast as coal does... Oh, wow, it's already going. Okay, cool. So um, let's start this off. So apparently I was told aluminium with some limestone um, should do the job. I think. I think that's right. Um... Okay, cool. So we've got to wait for that to melt, but uh, in the meantime, we do some other stuff. Okay, let's just put this into a slot like that. Now, uh, quest book. We should hopefully get that done today, and then we should get a jetpack. I'm not sure if I made the correct jetpack or not, if that's even the quest to make that kind of jetpack, but I have no idea. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was. Oh well, we still need it anyway. Hey, okay, cool. Uh, why is that flashing? Okay. Uh, shouldn't that be solid because I've done it? Okay. Uh, most pressing matter. Uh, we might make that, but um, there is some stuff I want to quickly do. Well, we need some power, right? Because when we actually make our sky base, we're going to need to fly all the way up there. And I was thinking lava power was the way to go because... Everyone's done lava generation power before, but I have not, so I don't know. I kind of want to do it, and it sounds cool. We may move on and do some different kinds of power after, but uh, this does sound like the way to go for now. Um, furnaces. We also need a furnace. So once we made that lava generator, we could probably just hook it up today and see if we can actually um, create, uh, fill up our jetpack and fly. Hopefully we can. So if we can fly within like the first... Six episode, I believe. This is six. If we can fly with um within six episodes, that'd be an amazing achievement. What am I missing here? Oh, for God's sake! I'm missing so much stuff, even though I'm not really. Okay, now we got everything we need. Nice. Um, where should we hook that up to? Let's just hook it here. <laughs> yeah, seems like a perfect place. Uh, okay, cool. So where's our leadstone jetpack, by the way? Where did that even get to in the first place? There it is, let's do a jetpack. We're going to need a way of charging it now I think about it, because we can't actually charge it in there. Huh, how can we charge this bad boy? Um, is there some kind of charge pad in there uh, in, that we can use? Um, what is the mounting point? 825 degrees, 660. Damn, that's a high mounting point. Okay, so we're going to be waiting quite a while for that, but hopefully we've got enough lava. So, yes, let's see if there's some kind of charge pad or something. Charge pad? Um, well, I wonder if we could just charge it straight from an energy cell. Hmm, I have no idea. 
charge pad. No. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can do about this. Alright guys, um, okay, cool. So I hit a little snag, um, but uh, I'll tell you about that in just a second. Uh, this thing is on its way. Aluminium is almost at its mounting point, about 100 degrees away. 160 actually, to be precise. And um, yeah, this one's got a bit to go as well. So, got a little bit of a waiting time yet. But uh, the snag that I hit was, what do I use as cables? Because... I couldn't see anything like there's I know there's energy cables energy cables um, G cables but as far as I know you need a transfer node and to get transfer nodes you need to do the QED stuff which is uh, you know f further away than I'd like it to be so I don't know uh, feel free to tell me which cables to use but yet again I am getting majorly ahead of myself I should probably wait until that thing is done so I can read the quest book so let's um let's start this quest that we were going to do last episode water barrel stone basin clay jug and brick well uh, okay cool so water barrel uh, I did get some wood this time water barrel okay cool and okay cool so clay jug uh jug i think the weather's going crazy if you just heard that um okay cool clay jug actually requires actual clay uh okay nice clay bricks why does everything seem to require clay blocks um i have no idea why okay so uh stone barrel was it stone barrel uh barrel we may need to smell up some stone for that uh yes we do Yep, yes we do. Okay, cool. So we'll put some stone in there. We'll put 64 in. We'll put 11 in. And then, what was the other thing that we needed? Stone barrel. Brick well. Uh, we're going to have to smell up some more stuff for that, aren't we? I still believe. Brick well. If we type in brick well, brick well. Uh, well again. And, oh, actual bricks. Um, damn. Okay, cool. So, how do you make bricks? Smelting clay. Um, okay, so... Okay, we have to actually break the clay. So, one, two, uh, three, four. I believe that's how many clay we're going to need if we get four out of each time. I believe you get four out each time, but I'm not sure. Uh, Sixteen. So, yeah, that should be everything we need, I believe. Ooh, toasty. Also made a few hamburgers, I don't know if you noticed. Um, just to uh, help. Um, okay, cool. So, stone barrel should be done. So, we just do that and then like that and then stone barrel yay okay cool uh so stone barrel what does this thing actually do and what does this do um is it like an infinite water source or is it just like that's a weird water if that's an infinite water source that's weird water um uh, okay no oh uh, yeah it's infinite water but it's very weird oh god i can't get used to that okay right, cool so whatever uh we've got to probably mine that up and nice awesome uh okay was it a consume task or i'm not sure i think it's a it might be a detect instead of a consume okay cool so five bricks we are not done there are we uh yeah we're gonna need a few more bricks yet so let's wait for that all right guys so i thought i'd call you back just for a little bit of here because yep okay cool so our melting point has reached its uh maximum so aluminium is melting as you can see and we get to see if uh, I put the vat in the correct place. I'm not sure if I did. Um, let's find out very soon. Uh, it disappeared. So, yeah, it did. I did put the vat in the right place. Awesome. So, input one aluminium ingot. So, it's going to slowly do that. Okay. It's nice to know it's not taking the, any of the heat either when it melts. Um, let's just double check. Wait for it to melt. Uh, no. It doesn't seem to be taking any of the heat when it melts. So, that's awesome. So, uh, bricks. What are we doing on the bricks front? Uh, we should be good to go because I did actually make a few extra bricks without uh, me wanting to, but oh well. Hey, okay, cool. So, brick. You can put it in there. Whatever. And brick well. Okay. And why does it come out looking weird if it's... It's not the same colour. <laughs> why? Okay, cool. Claim reward. Oh, we get to keep them. Okay, awesome. Um, I think I might put them down here because, you know... They seem farm appropriate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Okay, cool. So, we are done with the brick wells. 
What can we go to next? Baking pies, blueberry pie. We haven't got blueberries, or we haven't got we haven't got blueberries at all. Hey, cool. So presser and apiary. Pressers should be easy, and apiary should be easy. Presser, presser. There we are. Nice, awesome. We just need pistons. Have we got everything we need for pistons? Yes, we do. Awesome. Well, that was fast. Um, huh? we're out of iron. Oh, we got one block of iron here. Um, we really have iron. No, we got some iron here. Damn, those uh, those uh, barrels and stuff actually took more iron than uh, you'd expect. Okay, cool. An apiary, I believe, is quite easy. Apiary, if I can always, I always forget how to spell it, but uh, obviously that time I got it right. Hey, okay, cool. So wood and some frames, which I haven't got any leather. Oh, I do have some leather somewhere. Hey, okay, cool. So there's a leather. Awesome, five of it. All five of it. Okay. Um, we just need sticks. Uh, go away. Okay, so wood, like that. Awesome. Four sticks and leather. Boom. Oh, wow, we need a bit more. God damn it. I'm stupid. Okay, nice. And we do. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> hey, cool. So now we should be pretty much good to go. We just need that last frame and then boom. Apiary. Awesome. And even though it looks exactly like a uh, an apiary from forestry. That's uh, kind of deceiving. Okay, maybe we should keep them on me just in case there's a manual detect. Uh, no, it is not a manual detect. Okay, so put them in there for now because we're not going to set them up until we're actually in our sky base. Plus, we haven't got any honey anyway. Um, okay, cool. So, not the bees. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, we need some bees. Uh, they should be... Oh, in another pack I'm playing, usually the bees are underneath uh, trees. And they spawn there, but uh, I don't know if they are. But I should probably read the quest book. Haha, <laughs> I got it right this time. Alright guys, my quick lime has now melted. So, we got everything we need to make heat resistant glass. We just need to shove it in there. And hopefully, it should make heat resistant glass. Am I right? Um, well, the quick lime is actually going down. Oh, there we are. We got some heat resistant glass there. Awesome. Uh, I should probably show you some other stuff that we can do in the culinary creations. So we got a couple of things we could do now. We can um, either go down the becoming a beekeeper, but we can't do that yet. And uh, or we could go through learning to make soda, which I really want to do. I really want the soda stuff, especially cola soda. <laughs> Lovely, awesome. Root beer that classes as a soda? Huh? I'm not sure. Hey, cool. So, now we got the heat resistant glass. How much do we need? Um, tech tree, boom, heat resistant glass, four. Okay, uh, sand. Um, yeah, because I used up one of my sand, wait, sand diamond. Can, will that be, can that be used? <laughs> can that actually be used? Um, I'm watching the quick lime amount and seeing if it's gonna go down. Oh, it went down, <laughs> nice, awesome. So, yeah, we uh, got everything we need for that. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, machine frame. Awesome. Uh, machine frame basic. Machine frame. I'm guessing that the recipe has been changed, so you need hardened glass. Yes, you do. So, steel. I don't know what happened to the I steel. Tin and steel. I need. Where is the tin and steel? i got tin here. Uh, you guys see any steel? I can't remember whatever happened to that. Oh, there it is. There's our steel ingot. There should be more in the furnace downstairs, actually, now I think about it. But, um... I don't know. Uh, why didn't that work? Oh yeah, I need to steal ink up the tin gear, don't I? Okay, cool. I did not mean to make three, but oh well. Uh, things happen. Machine frame, awesome. Claim reward. We get eight coal, yay. Um, <laughs> how much fuel did it take to uh, actually power this lava, this uh, crucible furnace, and we get eight cure coal, <laughs> yay? Um, unclaimed reward. Oh yay! It looks like we did everything right for this. So, ooh, tuberous. Jetpack, awesome! So we made a leadstone jetpack. Get to claim that reward. Uh, where's our leadstone jetpack? Why can't we claim it? Um, mysterious potato. We cannot claim the reward. Oh, because our inventory is full. Yep, I know you're face bombing right there, but uh, don't. I will. I will figure it out eventually. You just have to trust in me. Yeah, I wouldn't trust in me either, but you know. Um, okay, claim reward. Mysterious potato. Ooh, can do the thing. What thing? Is that a reference to something that I'm missing? Uh, tuberous jetpack. Well, that thing is actually powered. 
Um, that's a good thing because uh, I don't know how to actually power this Redstone jetpack without some cables or whatever. Um, but anyway, and what's this? Unclaimed reward. Level up. As you're admiring your first machine, you see something on the ground. Another heart canister you be bend down only to find a fish. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> Is this like just a given thing to us? Oh well. Um, raw fish herring. Wow, awesome. That's awesome. Uh, oh, I didn't know you could actually get that in Minecraft. In 1.7 as well? I thought that was a 1.8 thing. Uh, can you cook this thing? No, it looks like you can't. Okay. Um, whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, for the first of many. Okay. Pulverizer, yes. But I need a way to power things first. Um, okay, so I need to figure out some kind of power solution. I can create power. I've already put one uh, block of... Um, run bucket of lava in there. But I cannot use power. Um, <laughs> there's no cables. There's no build craft, so I don't know. I can't resort to build craft. Uh, red net energy cables? No. Uh, spell cable? What the hell? Um, what the hell's that? Red net cable. I'm not sure what red net actually means. Um, sounds wrong, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, wire? Is there anything in here? Uh, no? Okay. Cable. Uh, I already typed in cable. Um, energy. Yeah. Um, so, I know you can use the energy pipes and stuff, but uh, energy extraction pipe, I'm not sure how that particularly works, because I've never been able to get it to actually extract energy. It just seems weird. And then there's energy pipe here. Uh, that's fine, but I can only ever get that to work with an energy node, and that's quite a long way off. So, either I'm doing something wrong with the energy extraction pipes, which I probably am, um, or... I have no idea what to do next, but either way, we get to fly because we got a potato jetpack. Um, awesome. <laughs> what? <laughs> Looks so weird. Um, okay, and can we fly? How do we fly this thing? I forgot how to uh, change the modes. I've never used simply jetpacks. Um, okay, let's have a look in our controls. Okay, um, guys, I died um, because. While I was messing around with controls, I checked to see if it worked after I uh, changed my controls. And it kind of worked! Um, I'm going to show you a little clip where what happened. So, yeah, basically at the time I didn't do any uh, commentating, so that's why I'm not using. That's why uh, I'm not showing it properly, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if you're back yet, but uh, I'm going to harvest some pears here. Awesome, they replant themselves. So, yeah! <laughs> Thanks for that massive troll, by the way. Um, that was great. <laughs> awesome. I love that. Uh, thank you for that. That's awesome. I like that kind of stuff. That's, that's really cool. Um, so, where am I going? Uh, I seem to be going up the wrong mountain. Uh, am I going up the wrong mountain? Where is my home? Uh, there it is. Oh, I am going up the wrong mountain. <laughs> My infantry! Where did my infantry go? Please say it didn't explode. That's kind of, that's pretty damn funny. I like that. Um, so yeah, I have an avocado. Ooh, what the hell is all this stuff? Avocados growing on oak leaves? What is this magic? Um, <laughs> damn it, that's a thumbnail right there. Um, potato madness. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the title of the episode as well. Um, okay. Uh, thank you for that. I, I love that kind of stuff. Please do more of that. Um, okay. Um, so let's see what we can do if we can recover any of our inventory there. Um, potato madness. Our uh, XP rain down above us. Um, oh, yay. Well, at least our gravestone's there, but it's um, wildly in the air. <laughs> uh, did you guys actually see the death, um, what it said? When I died, it said, Primal Demon tries to use a potato. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, cool. So let's try and break our gravestone which without actually um, falling to our death or anything. Uh, and without losing our inventory. Ah, uh, we lost most of it. Please say, ah, oh, we lost the pickaxe. God damn it. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be a risky jump. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, ooh, burgers, yay. Matok and my pickaxes must have fallen down 
really far down. Um, God damn it. Okay, let's go get my pickaxe. Hey, cool. So I got my stuff, as you can see, with my pickaxe here. But one thing uh, I actually found out, um, I somehow got a baked potato. I think I am the baked potato. Um, so, <laughs> God damn it. Um, thanks for that massive troll. That's uh, again, I've said this so many times, but it's still awesome. Uh, okay, cool. So let's try and take down this pillar, shall we? All right, pillar is gone, and I'm going to eat the baked potato. I might as well uh, make some goodness come out of my misery. Okay, cool. Avocados and pears, awesome. And hamburgers, awesome. So let's eat a couple of these hamburgers. Um, should we do anything else today, guys? Hmm, I have no idea. N I can't really progress around tech until I've actually found out a way to get power. Ooh, hang on, we could do... Uh, Wait, what? Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, I think it's because the rewards actually changed. So I get to reclaim these again. Um, yeah, because in the update, it actually changed the rewards. So that's awesome. So now we got a lot more rewards. But um, if we go in here, 76%. There is some stuff we still can do in here. And that is the ball of moss. Now, I never actually looked at the recipe for the ball of moss. But um, apparently... There is actually a crafting recipe for... Ooh, that's a weird texture. Ugh. Nice. Um, okay, cool. Ball of moss requires mossy stone, which is stone bricks and water and wheat. Okay, cool. That makes sense. That's the recipe that uh, um, he was on about. Okay, cool. One of the commenters told me that there's actually a recipe for it, and uh, I never actually got around to testing that theory. Uh, not theory, but fact. Um, okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this wheat here, um, how many we got? 16, that's more than enough. Okay, cool. And then 9 seeds. Okay, nice. Let's just shove this down here. Replant this, we might as well. Um, okay, cool. Then we've got to make the stone that I smelted up into stone bricks. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 12, that'll do. That's more than enough, but oh well. Okay, and we'll stack that. No, why not? Okay. So, we're going to have to make some room in our inventory. Oh, damn. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to make some room in our inventory. Please say we've got enough room here. Um, okay. So, water. Water bucket again. Uh, can we use fresh water? Because that is so much easier to uh, maneuver, to move around and stuff. Um, I have no idea. Uh, okay. So, let's just grab a couple of buckets there. And then, um, ball of moss, which is... Mossy stone, which is uh, oh, we could just use cobblestone, huh? I didn't know you could just use cobblestone. So, wheat and water, okay. One, two, three. Wow, um, does it consume the bucket? No, it doesn't, okay. Four and five, okay. Let's get a remainder of this co this um water and do the rest of this uh mossy cobblestone. One, two, three, four, as many as you can. Oh, I missed one, I've dropped one, okay, cool. Um, you know what, screw it, I don't really care about the bucket. I like how all these things have grown snow over the top, it looks weird. Um, kind of cool though. Okay, cool, so, the final stint here, let's uh, just put a little on here. And then we should have everything we need to make the stuff. So, six, eight, and now one more, nine. Okay, cool. So, we put that around in a ball of moss, and there we are, ball of moss. Very okay, cool. So, if we go in here and ball of moss claim reward. We got two balls of moss. Nice. Do they snack? That snack? Uh, I meant to say, do they stack? Uh, obviously, they do. 84% complete. Why isn't it 100% complete? Probably because of this. Um, yeah, okay. Whatever. So, I think that's where I'm going to call it today, guys. Um, one thing I would really ask for is some suggestions on cables and stuff. Um, and a charge pad only. I do have a charge pad in mind that I do want to make. But uh, if you want to leave me a recommendation for charge pad and cables, feel free. I would love that. And uh, if you're watching this, creator, thank you for that troll. That was uh, awesome. Please add another one. I like that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Um, and, uh, yeah. I suppose that's about it. So, uh, I will see you in the next episode. Bye.